Hi friends, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Church at Home. Today we are talking all about feelings. We all have big and important feelings like feeling happy, sad, scared, angry, and nervous. And all those feelings are okay to feel because God made feelings and He wants to hear about the things we are feeling. That's why our big idea today says, I can talk to God about how I feel. Are you ready to say that? Repeat after me. I can talk to God about how I feel. Awesome job. One feeling we can always have is joy. That's why I wanna sing this song with you called Joy. It's a song that reminds us no matter what happens or how we feel, we can have joy because of God's love for us. Let's stand up and sing. Hey friends, we're gonna sing this song, Joy. No matter what we're going through, we can have joy because God is so good. So let's sing this out. I will enter in your house with things. Let's sing out Love Abounds. Love abounds within these walls of grace. Let's sing out Mercy. Mercy riding on the morning. There is freedom in Clap your hands. So I will clap my hands and give you praise. All right, friend, let's sing. I'm letting go. I'm letting go of the fight. I know it'll be alright. I've got joy. I've got joy. Has written. The cross has written now my story. Sin was washed to make me holy, and I'll never be the same again. All right, friends, let's stomp our feet for I'm letting go. I'm letting go of the fight. I know it'll be alright. Sing out, I've got joy. I've got joy. Reach up our hands and sing out, I've got joy. Here we go. I've got joy. Great job. We're going to sing out, it's my hope and it's my strength. So let's sing it together. It's my hope. It's my strength. It's my life. It's my way. Crushing death. Killing shame. Giving life in Jesus' name. Sing it out again. It's my hope. It's my strength. It's my life. It's my Stop way. Stomp your feet. Crushing. Crushing death. Killing shame. Giving life in Jesus' name. Good job. Let's sing it. It's my hope. It's my strength. It's my life. It's my way. Crushing death. Killing shame. Giving life in Jesus' name. One more time. Name. Let me hear you. Down in the depths of my heart, deep down in my heart. And I know. And I know. I know. I know. Sorrow may last for a night, but there's promise inside and it's joy. Come on, sing it out. Joy. 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 I've got joy. I've got joy. 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 Sing it out. I've got joy. Great job. Let's dance. Let's have some fun. We have so much joy. Here we go. I've got joy. Let's 
Awesome job, friends. That was so fun. That song is such a great way to remember that no matter what we feel, we can always have joy deep in our hearts because we believe in God and His promises for us. Do you know where we can read God's promises for us? Hmm. It's in this book right here. It's the Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that tells us stories about real people and places from a long time ago. And there are people in the Bible who had feelings. That's why I can't wait for you to watch today's Bible story with me. It's all about two people who had some big feelings after they made the wrong choice. So put on your thinking caps and your listening ears and let's watch our Bible story about Adam and Eve. Stories of the Bible. Adam and Eve sin. This is Adam. Hey. And this is Eve. Hi. Who were the first people on earth. They lived in the Garden of Eden, which was a beautiful place that had everything they needed. Adam and Eve took care of the animals and could eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. This was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and God told them not to eat from this tree. There were lots of animals in the garden, but the serpent was the most clever of all the wild animals God had made. Hmm. One day, he asked the woman, Hey Eve! Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of these trees in the garden? Eve said that they were able to eat from all of the fruit trees except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. For God said, you must not eat or even touch it. If you do, you will die. No, that can't be. You won't die, said the serpent. God knows that as soon as you eat it, you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. <gasps> oh. The woman was convinced she saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam and he ate it too. At that moment, their eyes were opened. Oh no! And they suddenly realized they weren't wearing clothes and were embarrassed. So they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, Adam and Eve heard God walking about in the garden. Hi! So they hid from God among the trees. Then God called to Adam, Where are you? Adam said, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? Adam said, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit and I ate it. Then God asked Eve, what have you done? The serpent tricked me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Then God punished the serpent by making it so he would crawl on his belly from then on. He told Eve that she would have great pain in her life. Then God said to Adam that because he listened to Eve and did not obey what God had told him to do, his life would be very difficult. He would have to work hard to get food to eat, God said, for you were made from dust, and to dust you will return. Then God made them clothing from the animals, but God knew that Adam and Eve could no longer live in the garden because of their sin, so he sent them away and closed up the garden. Did you see what Adam and Eve did when they made the wrong choice? They felt afraid and they hid from God. But God knew where they were and the wrong choice they made. We don't have to hide from God. We can always tell God the truth. When Adam and Eve stopped hiding, they talked to God and told Him how they felt afraid and embarrassed. Those are some big feelings. We can talk to God about how we feel too, because God loves us so much. Do you know how I know? Because of the Bible. I can't wait for you to see today's Bible verse. Just look. Oh, oh no, it's all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them so we can see our Bible verse? Let's go. Okay, everybody. 
everybody! It's bubble popping time! A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low! There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble! Wait! That's not a bubble! That's a bubble! Does everybody know what a bubble is? I don't! But I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles! Bubble popping party people! Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them out of sight! That's it! Alright, alright! Keep going, yay! We're almost there! We're at the pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! Okay, ready, go! One, two, three, keep going! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble! Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look, we can see our Bible verse now. It says, the Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. Psalm 145, eight. This verse tells us God loves us so much. His love never goes away. That's why you can talk to God about how you feel because He cares about you and your feelings. He loves you no matter what you feel or what choices you make. Let's stand up and sing that Bible verse together right now. This song is Psalm 145.8. It is all about God's great love and kindness for us. This verse tells us that God's love never stops no matter what we do. So we're gonna sing out some woes together. Are you ready? Here we go. Sing it out. Let's sing our verse. Sing it again. All right, let's clap our hands. We're gonna sing out the Lord is merciful and compassionate. Let's sing together. Sing out slow to get angry. Slow to get angry and fill with unfailing love. Let's sing that out again. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. Slow to get angry. Slow to get angry and fill with unfailing love. Let's sing out our woes. Let me see you jump. hands like this. We're going to sing that all over again. The Lord is merciful. Let me hear you singing this time. Here we go. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. Slow to get angry and fill with unfailing love. Last time, let's sing it out loud. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. Slow to get angry. Great job singing and dancing, everyone. We sang that the Lord is filled with unfailing love. That means His love never stops. God loves you and cares about the choices you make and the feelings you feel. So even if you do something that might get you in trouble, or even if you feel a big feeling, you can tell God what happened and how you feel. He doesn't want you to make the wrong choice 
but he will always love you when you do. I know a Scuppet friend who is learning about feelings too. It's Winston. Friends, it's time to visit Winston, Jim, and Gift in Winston's workshop. So let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and watch this. Hello, all my friends out there. I'm Winston. I'm Gift. And I'm Jim. Welcome to my workshop. Today, we are building with one of my favorite things, magnet tiles. that it sounds like you have some big feelings when that happened. We all have big feelings when we're playing. Yeah, when I'm playing with my friends, I feel all sorts of feelings like happiness when I'm laughing with a friend or sadness when I don't get a turn with something I want and even anger when a friend doesn't play how I want to play. God made us to feel different things. God even feels sad and angry too. That's why our big idea today is, I can talk to God about how I feel. Friends, will you repeat that after me? I can talk to God. I can talk to God. About how I feel. About how I feel. I never knew that God felt big feelings like me. Did you, friends? That's pretty awesome. Now, it's time for us to get building. I'm gonna make a super magna train. Woohoo! And I'm going to make a house. Yeah! And I'm gonna build a super tall tower that reaches all the way up to the sky. Wow! Let's pray! <laughs> Yep, I just need a couple more pieces. Hey, Mr. Chip, can you hand me a triangle piece, please? I don't have any more. Gift? I'm all out, too. Arr, that makes me so sad. <laughs> me, too. Hey, Jim and I can go get some more. We have a bunch at our house. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll be right back. Can you make sure this don't fall apart? Yep, I can make sure. Okay, let's okay. go. Bye, guys. See ya. Hmm, I really need that triangle piece to finish my train right now. <gasps> oh, look. There's a beautiful triangle piece on Mr. Jim's tower. That would be perfect. I'm just going to take this because that's exactly what I need. Ha ha, here we go. Let's see, where, oh, oh, oh no, ah, oops. That wasn't good. Uh, maybe I can fix it. Hold on. Okay, let's, oh, uh, there's so many pieces everywhere. Okay, there's a triangle piece over here. Let's Winston, ah! we got a whole bunch of triangles for you. Oh no, Jim, your tower. What happened? I worked so hard. And I'm sad that my tower is ruined. And where is Winston? Winston? Oh, um, hey, uh, Gift and Jim, how's it going? Did you see what happened to Jim's tower? Um, uh, what? Oh, I don't know. Um, maybe, um, the wind blew it over. Really? Doesn't seem like there's any wind in your workshop. Um, it was me. I just really needed that triangle piece. Do you think taking it from Jim's tower and then telling us that it was the wind was the right choice or the wrong choice? Um, the wrong choice. Yes, it was the wrong choice to lie. But Winston, you know our big idea is for times like this. You can talk to God about how you feel right now. Um, even when I'm in trouble? Especially when you are in trouble. God loves us and cares about the choices we make. 
And God even sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so that we can be forgiven and be with God forever. So friends, remember you can talk to God about how you feel because He loves you. Um, I have a question. Should I um, do that right now? Sure. Talking to God is a good thing to do when you don't know what to do. God will help you know what to do next. Okay. Ah, five fingers here and five fingers there. And we're going to put them together for a prayer. God, I did something really wrong. I took something that wasn't mine and I didn't tell the truth about it. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Will you help me? Amen. Amen. Remember, God loves you no matter what choice you make. God loves us the same if we do what's right or wrong. Thanks, Jim and Giff. Now, I think we should use all these pieces to make one giant mega tower. Let's do it. Friends, remember that God loves you and our big idea I can talk to God about how I feel. Woohoo! Now, you want to see us build like 100 miles an hour? Watch this. All right, here we go. This is the last piece. And done! Woohoo! Friends, what do you think? I think it's even better than before. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us in Winston's workshop today. We'll see you around. Bye! Bye. Let's keep on building! Wow, there are lots of feelings we can feel, aren't there? That's because God made us so we can feel different feelings just like Him. But did you see when Winston hid after he knocked down Jim's magnetile tower? Ooh, Winston was afraid he'd get in trouble and he made the wrong choice when he lied. We all make wrong choices sometimes, right? When we do, we can always talk to God because He loves us. So when we make the wrong choice and disobey God, we can tell God by praying to Him and asking for His forgiveness. The reason we talk to God like this is because of Jesus. The best thing God did for us was send Jesus to die for our sins so we don't have to hide. So let's talk to God right now and thank Him for sending Jesus to die for our sins so we can talk to God and tell Him how we feel. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Help us remember we can always talk to you about how we feel. We love you so much. Amen. Great job, friends. God loves to hear from us when we talk to him. Well, thanks for watching Church at Home with me. Do you remember our big idea? Let's say it together one more time. I can talk to God about how I feel. I've had so much fun with you learning that we can talk to God about how we feel. Friends, we love you and God loves you even more. We'll see you soon. Bye.